hi guys welcome to my channel and this is young womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle self-care being post-grad and all of the above so if you like that type of content make sure to subscribe but today we're doing a little reset weekend so i'm just going to show you how i rest but also reset clean my house and get started for a new week so without further ado let's jump right on into this video This past week, we had two weddings, Sunday and Friday, and I had the busiest work week ever. I work in a neighboring town that's 45 minutes away, and normally I only drive out there two to three times a week, but this week I drove out there four times, so it was more than normal on top of the weddings, so... Today, I slept in till 10 to recuperate, and then I got Starbucks, as you saw, and now it's 12. I went to Target, because our Target is right next to our Starbucks, and I did not need anything from there, but I just went for fun, just because I wanted to. I'm going to show you what I got. First things first, I got this organizer for bags. And I hope it fits in our drawer. If it doesn't, it's going back. Next, Alec and I are addicted to ginger ale. We love ginger ale. So, got us some of those. I got us this case for our Switch because we will sometimes bring it with us on trips to play with. And we're about to go back to our hometown in California next month. This would be good so that we don't damage it because we already broke one of the controllers from traveling with it so then I also bought my first Christmas things I'm not somebody that decorates for Christmas immediately in November but I know that retail stores put their Christmas stuff out early and I wanted to get it so I got this candle it's cypress and pine which honestly woodsy scents like this I would light them now I think they're cozy and then I got this little Christmas tree mug. So cute. And then there was a deal that Target was having right now where you do buy one, get one 50% off of books. So I got the final gambit because I am reading the second one in this series. It's the Inheritance Game series. So we need to get number three. And then I got the seven year slip which I saw recommended on YouTube. Then that was the first bag. And this is the last one. I got some more socks. I'm trying to throw away all of my cheap Walmart pack socks because they have holes in them and I'm trying to invest in ones like this. You know, adult socks. This is one of Alex's favorite drinks. It's a little cream soda, but... I thought he would like that. Then I got this little jar. I have it with the O for oil, but we also have white vinegar that I use for cleaning and stuff. So I wanted to put that in there. I got these two different wallets. The reason being is my wallet is broken. So this one will be my big wallet with all the gift cards and everything. And then this one will be the little one I'll put in my fanny pack for when I'm on the go. And the last thing I got is Halloween candy, obviously, because this year for Halloween, we're going to stay here and give out candy to our neighbor kids. And I think that would be fun.
ignore the dryer behind me, but hello. I've been a little MIA this weekend, but sometimes you need weekends where you just fall off the face of the planet. <laughs> and that's what I've done this weekend. So yesterday I just spent the whole day alone pretty much. Alec was working and then he went to play pickleball afterwards. So pretty much a solo day for me and it felt so good. I started a book. So let me share that with you. I want to start a new segment, my little book review segment. So this will be book time. Book time? Book time. Currently, I am reading the Hawthorne Legacy, which is the second book in the Inheritance Games series. I read 80 pages yesterday, so that's a pretty good chunk. There's 350. So excited about this one. It's definitely a mystery, but not a thriller and I don't really do thrillers so it's kind of like Nancy Drew vibes for me and I grew up reading Nancy Drew so I like that but I did just finish and it's downstairs so I don't want to get it but The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and I have a Goodreads where I share all of my reviews and I also share them on Instagram but that was a three stars for me because I felt like the climax of the book was in the middle with the Hunger Games and everything that was happening. And then the last section was just kind of bled to me. Like everything was building up, building up with the Hunger Games and then the end of the book just kind of finishing off the story was just kind of weird for me. So not really sure about that one, but I am going to go see the movies. So we shall see how it goes but that's my book review time maybe by the next time i'm vlogging i'll have finished this and i can share with you now i'm gonna do some cleaning we like to clean on the weekends and alec already kind of helped me with the cleaning he went to play pickleball again but he made sure to help me with some cleaning before he left so he was very nice about that so now i'm gonna do some vacuuming and then maybe read We'll see, but definitely some vacuuming. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because i love to do those for you and i will see you guys next saturday bye guys